Welcome to my wellness getaway, a four-day trip in the Catskill Mountains in a beautiful A-frame cabin. I'm Macy, and this is how I mentally reset and enjoy a relaxing getaway. Day one. Day one was all about settling in and enjoying the fresh new vibes of the space. It's an actual decision to learn how to relax and get into the relaxing mindset. Our drive was about three hours up north, so a proper unwind was really needed. So this place is really interesting because it is an A-frame, so it's super stunning. Oh yeah, and these doors open, so it's really beautiful and it's great to let the air in and everything. And I really like how it has a desk set up here because it's really important for me as a content creator. So some things that we brought, I brought my laptop. I also brought these two biodynamic speakers because during the day we like to have surround sound throughout the cabin. So we also brought our Nintendo Switch and connected it to this really big TV. Down here, I store all of my camera gear and my drone, which I actually just got as a birthday gift for my boyfriend. So we're gonna be flying that later and trying that out. And over here, there is this really beautiful fireplace, wood burning stove thing. We actually have a bunch of wood, which is really convenient. This is a really cozy corner for reading and such. There's actually a bedroom up there too. And this is a bathroom, another bedroom. My bedroom is right here. So outdoors is actually really nice. So outdoors there's like a table and there's string lights all around the deck, which is really convenient. There's a bonfire fireplace thing over there. So we could toast marshmallows there as well. And there's a waiting pool over there, but it's not open right now. And this is what the A-frame looks like outside. And, yep. And last night, we actually used this jacuzzi and it was so beautiful because we could see the string lights over here and enjoy the jacuzzi. So we're probably gonna be doing this every night because it's <laughs> such a treat that we don't really enjoy at home. And yeah, so this is the house. For dinner, our meal was really simple and is one of my favorite meals to enjoy in my day to days. We stopped by H Mart on our way up and picked up some salmon, sashimi, and gimbap. The meal was so quick to make and hardly needed any preparation or cooking. All that was needed was a bit of prep, some TLC, to make the meal even more memorable and special. Enjoying our first meal at this tidy A-frame cabin for the first time was a really refreshing experience. It really made me want to clean up my house when I get home so that I can focus on just creating special moments like these without any outside distractions. Plating and tableware is so important to me because I think it elevates the meal and makes it even more memorable. I was really happy to see that our Airbnb had all of these necessary beautiful tableware for our meals. Day 2 Day 2 was all about slow living and appreciating the simple pleasures of life. The weather was a bit foggy, so we decided to do a lot of indoor activities. We wanted to make each moment of this trip count, regardless of the weather. Cooking is something that I don't normally have the privilege to enjoy and relish because of how busy my life has been at home. I normally really love cooking, trying out new recipes, challenging myself, but time feels like it's never on our side. So it often feels like we aren't able to give ourselves the proper time to do the things that really bring us joy. It kind of makes it hard for us to just discover who we are too as people. So I made it a priority to dedicate part of this cabin getaway towards cooking and making special meals with my family. There's something so special about collaborating together on making a yummy, homey meal. Certain cuisines bring people together, facilitate healthy conversations, and allows you to create lifelong memories. For lunch, 
we made a really yummy Thai meal. Thai noodles and Thai iced tea. I'm a huge fan of Thai food and it's surprisingly really easy to make at home. This was my first time making it, but it was really fun to try a new recipe out on my getaway trip. I'd love to thank Our Place for sponsoring this portion of the video and for honestly making my trip that much more memorable. Our Place collaborated with Selena Gomez on this beautiful collection and I'm so honored to be able to share this with you guys. This limited collection comes in two colorways, Rosa and Azul. The one that I chose is Rosa because I love the vibrant warmth I feel from this color and this color reminds me of my mom's cooking. The collection comes with Our Place's cookware system, which I'm a huge fan of because it makes cooking and eating so functional, enjoyable, and aesthetic. Aside from being such a beautiful aesthetic cookware collection, Our Place is woman and immigrant owned, and their products are so multifunctional and lightweight. Their cups and tableware are stackable and really high quality, and their perfect pot and always pan are extremely multifunctional, being able to replace up to 16 pieces of cookware. So make sure you check out Selena's collection with Our Place using the link in my description. You can also use the code Macy10 for 10% off. Thank you Our Place again for this opportunity and for gifting me this beautiful set that made my getaway trip that much more special. We really wanted to make use of all the different amenities of our Airbnb, so we decided to make s'mores on the wood-burning chimney on the deck. The vibes of the deck are so calming, especially with the surrounding mountains. Being outdoors, surrounded by just the sound of the swaying trees, is so therapeutic and it's honestly something I wish I could bring home with me. Later in the day, we wrapped up the night by cooking some homemade pizza. This activity was super wholesome and really a nice activity to do as a group. We decorated our own pizzas, had many laughs together, and enjoyed a home-cooked meal in the calming ambiance of the night. Day 3 Day 3 was all about activities. I'm not really one to have many hobbies, so it was definitely a challenge to use this time to let loose and enjoy activities for once. So we took advantage of the sunny weather and spent a lot of time outside being active. Our Airbnb had these really handy paddle boards, so we brought them to a nearby lake and started paddle boarding. My boyfriend also got me this drone for my birthday last month, so I was really excited to be able to fly this out for the first time and get some drone footage. Did you know that I actually always wanted to start my YouTube channel a few years ago by making cinematic travel vlogs? I actually never did it because I was held back by fear and what ifs, but I always imagined myself taking really cinematic drone footage, traveling the world, and sharing it on the internet. Well, I guess I'm sort of there having a YouTube channel now, but now I'm working on the bit where I need to live life and travel. So I'm really happy that I got to practice drone flying and getting this drone footage on the trip and live out one of the things that I always wanted to do. When we got back to the cabin, we had a quick lunch and then played some badminton. The land was a bit sloped and we're not really that skilled at badminton, but it was fun nonetheless. We ended the day with some real quality time and baked these delicious cupcakes, started a bonfire, and enjoyed a picnic. The night ended with some grilled vegetables and enjoying the jacuzzi that was on our deck. Looking out at the stars while in the jacuzzi, surrounded by really romantic string lights, definitely hit the spot. I hope that you enjoyed joining me on my wellness getaway. I've been stuck in the hustle mentality for years now, and life really shouldn't get to a point where we need to get away from life, to then focus on wellness. This trip definitely helped me reset, but there are things that I'm going to strive for when I get back home. What are some ways to remind myself to slowly live while being productive? How can I enjoy the present without dwelling too much on the future or the past? How can I bring these special moments and create new ones when I return home? I believe that every day in our lives should be a vacation. On vacations, we don't want to waste any time and we want to focus on having fun, enjoying good laughs, and eating good food. Every day, we should strive to live in the present and for our loved ones. Because after all, time is something that we don't get back. 
So, let's make every day a vacation.